everybody, how's it going? Um, welcome to 2019, if this is your first video of 2019 you come into. Um, thanks for everyone that has been coming back. Thanks for those who publicly like. Thanks for those of you who don't publicly like, but just keep coming back. We're cool. This one is about makeup. And I'm warning you now, just because I can see through my analytics, my core audience, and my core audience is more men than women. I don't really know, but I have an idea that it's most probably because mental health stuff, you know, talking about your feelings, talking about your emotions, is something that men have been always told that they're not supposed to show. So maybe they don't know how to correctly ask questions or, or you know, maybe they just think I'm cute. I don't know. I am single, so... That's not really my point, though. My point is that this is about makeup, and it is relevant to, you know, everything, because like I've said before, sometimes makeup, it can hide the fact that you're not having a good day. It will, you know, it'll give you the opportunity to just not have people ask you, hey, what's up? Because sometimes you just don't want to talk about it, right? For some of us, it just makes us happy. Personally, it makes me happy. And again, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression because I do think that makeup is genderless. I don't even think about people as genders anyway. People are just people. But that's just me, okay? So if you want to wear makeup, just, just go for it. If you like this, stay tuned because I got such a great deal. That's why I'm bringing it to you. So I got a list. Now, it's things that I shopped with the sales. And I was going to include the elf order that I made over the Christmas holidays. And, well, we do not get along very well, Elf Cosmetics and I. Not at all. And I didn't think I was going to be getting on the second order, which I am. And the first order, though, the first order I received yesterday. And then I decided I had to do a dedicated video to it. This is what I got yesterday. They're all the value sets. Highlighting one. Contour. The rose gold. I can't get enough of that one. And then this huge thing. So just these value sets on their own make me want to do a dedicated video and then I have a couple other things. I also have a few things coming in that order that I didn't think I was going to be getting because I placed it the day before this one and it only became you know active in the tracking number yesterday when I received this one so whatever. But I'm going to do a dedicated video to the e.l.f. cosmetics itself but if you include the e.l.f. cosmetics because again I got a great deal. I shopped at the sale. I knew it was coming but in all, everything that I hold at Christmas has a retail value of over $500 and I paid $200. Well, enough talk about me and, you know, other companies. We're not here to talk about Elf Cosmetics. We're here to talk about all the stuff that I bought. Again, either Winner's Finds, Drugstore Finds on the sales, or Sephora. We have a Sephora here in, like, my neck of the woods. It's not very big and um, we're just gonna leave it at that. We're just gonna leave it at that. I know that you're wondering like why am I talking about all this because yes everything I'm going to show you right now because I did the math right. I'm a nerd I did the math. Everything that I'm about to show you has a value like a retail value of $365. That's insane. I don't have that kind of money but what I paid for everything I'm about to show you is $152.34. So yes, I did say I spent $200. So the entire elf order that I, you know, receiving, gotten, whatever, was about $50. Actually, to be truthful, it was $56. And it has another value that's a whole other thing. Again, we're going to do a dedicated video on that because I got a lot of stuff and it's great. Now, I know you're all going, what? You spent like... Yeah, for me, again, makeup is like my addiction, all right? There's worse things to be addicted to in this world, and my bills are paid. So if I choose to put my money there, that, that's, that's my issue. And yes, I do eat. I do eat. I eat very well, and I'm still on my weight loss journey, you know, trying to eat healthy, healthy lifestyle. But I also want to feel good about myself. Like, I'm losing weight. I like my reflection now in the mirror. 
I want, you know, to, to... So, my point is, is I'm bringing all these savings to all of you. Because there may be some of you that want one or two of these things. Probably not, you know, everything that I'm showing. Not everybody's a makeup fiend like I am. But some of you, I mean, and I've had conversations, I mean, some of you that tune in, you're my personal friends, we, we talk, you know. Some of you that tune in, I've never met you in person, but we still end up talking a lot and interacting back and forth, so yes, I do know that there are some people that are interested in some of these name brand things, they just can't swing it. And for an example, the first thing I'm talking about is the Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So. If you're going to go buy this at Sephora, because in this part of the world, we don't have Ulta or anything like that. So if you're gonna buy it around here, the only place you can get it is at Sephora. And all of the ABH palettes are all $55. Now $55 for a palette is not within my price range. But now, the only high-end palette that I own, that I paid full price for, is my Morphe 35M Boss Mood palette. But their full price is $30. That is like just on the cusp of like what I can pay. And this happened to be $29.99. Now I saw it there, they had like 20 of them. And I didn't buy it right away. I think that $30 for a palette, it really needs to be a good one. It needs to be really, really worth it. I don't have that much money to throw around. So, so I left it there when I found it. And I eventually returned and, and went and got it. And I'm not mad at all. I've used it a few times. I'm not going to review any of it because this has been reviewed like a bazillion million times, but I've used it. Am I happy with it? Very much. I have a friend of mine that, you know, we, we connected more as adults, but we went to school together and we both had the same thing because when she saw that, you know, I found it on sale at winter, she went and purchased one and then a few days later I purchased it and we spoke to each other and we're like, what's everybody always complaining about this? palette for like I don't get it do we just have like low standards um so we don't still know the official answer on that but it, it has its quirks and its difficulties I mean but if you think about it most palettes do so this is my first high-end item and the thing that is worth the most in my entire thing but it's 55 if you want to buy it from Sephora I found it at Winners for 30 and it was worth it. On to the next one. So we're going to be sticking still with winners, all right? I did find this NYX primer for six bucks. Yeah, it's 16, I think, in stores. But it was six dollars. It was unopened. I don't even know why they sent it back to winners because it's still something that they sell right now. But I ain't complaining because I picked it up for six bucks. This next one just might blow your mind a little bit. Blew mine a little bit. Once I looked it up. So I had never heard of this brand before, and it is makeup brushes, called Simply Essential. Um, but I've been into makeup enough, and I watch my favorite YouTubers where they talk about, you know, what to look for in a good makeup brush. So, I mean, I opened them up and looked at them. So I have first is the Pyramid Kibuki brush. It's nice. I mean, I've used it, so it's, it's a little bit dirty. But one, first of all, they're easy to wash. They are cruelty free because I looked it up when I got home, all right? So it's a great, you know, pyramid you can get into. I actually use this to put on like foundation if I want to use a brush to put on foundation. It's great. And then I have got this other one here. So this one is a diamond kabuki brush. So it's got like a different shape to it. Um, this one I use to blend in my cream contour. So between so these two like why i'm blown away is i never heard of the brand before and i wanted to make sure that they were cruelty free because i mean i could have returned it if it wasn't they are cruelty free and these brushes sell for 26.99 us on their website i paid 5.99 each that is a huge win for me huge win i mean yeah 20 this next one has a little bit of controversy over it. I don't want to get into the debate between these two makeup beauty gurus, whatever. I like them both for different reasons. I wish that, you know, the drama wouldn't be brought into their brands, but somehow it is. So 
I'm a fan of Kat Von D. I'm also a fan of Jeffree Star's makeup. So, I really wanted the center fragrance. And I don't have the money for the whole thing. And, I mean, I looked at it. I actually had this travel duo. Because it's on Sephora, like, right now. It just went down in price to this. So it's on sale for the 26 or whatever it is. But I paid $9.99. Found them at Winners. $9.99, I can do. At the time, it was $32 at Sephora for the two. Again, that, that's out of my budget. If I won't pay $30 for a full palette, I'm not going to pay $30 for a little bit of fragrance. But at $9.99, sure. So got me some Cavon D, nice smelly stuff. Please don't drag in the drama because I don't want to be part of the drama and, you know, walk away from that. Are you still wondering what other awesome things I found at Winners? I'm not done. Winners is the best. There's these pure, there's a lot of pure these days. Like, they must have had a shipment from pure because it was like all over the place for about a week and a half and then it got sold out. So there's this highlighting palette and it has a few different, like, shades, if you want to call them, shades, different colors. So this full highlight palette was only $9.99. Yeah, I can swing that. Guess what? There's more from Pure Cosmetics. Um, this is the Revolution palette. I, I really like these colors. Again, I wanted the Kat Von D Lolita palette, and this was kind of as close as I could get. And, I mean, I was, like, thinking, you know, the Naked Cherry palette or the Lolita, like what's the difference? And neither one of them were in my budget. So I kind of got this one for $6.99 and then I got the e.l.f. Cosmetics Rose Gold Nude palette yesterday. And that one is why I need to do a dedicated video because I'm wearing it right now. It's pretty much the Naked Cherry palette, but nude, toned down. So if you're the type of person that really likes the Naked Cherry palette, you like what it's got to bring, but you're not that type of person that really wants to pop that bright of a color, then go with this one. And it's 10 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. But I need to do a whole video. This is my inspiration and a couple of other things. We'll get there later. Well, yes, of course. The last two items I found at Winners were iridescent and have a bunch of weird colors in them. Yeah, because that's me. Um, so this is the Makeup Revolution Triple Bait Highlighter in you know, Rainbow. I actually have a post lower on my Instagram, like from a while back, where I found this box at Winners. Because again, we don't have access to Ulta or anything like that. So it costs a lot of money for us. Because I looked it up. If we want to buy this in Canada, it costs about 25 bucks, Shipping and handling and whatnot. Paid $4.99. $4.99 is good. But I had found it before and someone had actually stolen it. And I wasn't very happy about that, so. This time I found it, there's a lot of product in there. I have used it quite a bit. I, I tend to stick to like these signs of the colors just because I want to bring out the blue. But if I want it to look somewhat natural, I just got to go over to the other side. But either way, this is going to last for like ever. In all reality, I'm going to keep this forever anyway. If it does start to bug me because it's too old or something, I'll just keep it because it's pretty. I, mean, I do keep things around just because they're pretty. The last thing I found at Winners was a full-size Too Faced Cosmetics Mermaid Tears Lip Topper. They call it a lip topper. I wear it all by itself because it looks great. If you want to see it, it's kind of green, but it, it pulls off this purple vibe. And I don't know if the camera will pick up how it changes color. It just looks amazing. I've never worn it as a topper. I wear it very often just on its own. And I mean, again, this was not something that I could afford from Sephora. It is $36 for just this. What? No, no. That, that again is out of my price range. What did I pay? $7.99. $7.99, I can do that for a lipstick. Sure. $7.99 is great. $36? Heck no. That ain't gonna happen. 
All right, now that we've said all that, let's really move on to foundation, okay? I got two, they're drugstore. This one is medium coverage. It's hard candy glomouflage. I think I said that right. It's $9.99, $9.99, okay? That is great, affordable. It gives you great coverage. The only thing, it's got like this huge like doe applicator, but I don't really like that too, too much because I tend to put bacteria into it again. But I mean, for $9.99, I can throw this out after the six months that it says you should throw it out at because $9.99 isn't a crazy price. Plus, it gives great coverage. It is medium coverage, buildable, never too full though. It's great if you don't have like huge things to like conceal and hide. And I tend to not to these days, which again, another thing of the healthy diet. So I love this on the days where I just want to do a quick makeup look. Great. But that said, I was really looking for a really good full coverage one. And I was looking at the ones they had in Sephora. And the prices, 60, 80. No, I just can't. I just can't. So looked out, you know, I mean, Pinterest, I'm starting to learn Pinterest and learning how it works. So this was a good dupe and I know NYX is great anyway. So it's the new can't stop, won't stop full coverage. And I have it in the shade light. There's a number two, if you can get it to know. I, I think this has to do with like professional makeup people. They know what these letters never stand for. Um, so it's CSW. I don't know. I can't read that much. I'm, I'm going blind. I really am. Whatever. It's in the shade light and I'm wearing it today. I think it works great. I love it. You do not need a lot of this. It goes a very long way. It's going to last for a long time. I did pay full price for this. Yeah, I'll pay $18.99. I mean, it was almost like an investment for me and um, I'm happy with it. All right, let's move on. Pay full price for that one. Sticking with foundations, I got this Pixie. So it was on sale. It is originally $32. It was on sale right after Christmas at $13.99. And I got number two nude. So there's only three colors of this. And it is called a color correcting powder foundation. So it comes in this cute little thing here. There is quite a bit of product in there actually. Um, I've been using it a lot. So you can do two things with this. You can use it as setting powder you know, over everything else, or you can do what I did. So if you see my Instagram post you know, yesterday when I talked about all of the value sets that I got from e.l.f. Cosmetics, this is what I have as a foundation. So just throw on a little bit of primer, get a really dense brush, and just put this on top as a foundation. It works great. And again, there's only three colors, so all you dark-skinned girls out there, you were forgotten. I'm very sorry about that. Truly, I am. But I just, I still don't get, why does everybody mix things together? I think this is my thought, and if somebody wants to steal that out there, go for it. I'm not here to make money. But why doesn't somebody invent a foundation line that is meant to be mixed together so that you can make up your own? Like, you know, you know that you need shade four and shade seven. You always mix those two together. So you make your, is that, I don't know, my thought. Speaking of Pixie, there's two things and I'm actually wearing both of them right now. So this was also on sale. It is called um, Matte Last Liquid Lip and Matte Beige. This stuff is great. I love it. I'm wearing it now. It does wear off a little bit, but it takes a while for it to wear off. It dries down matte, but not a drying, ucky matte. I really like it. I wasn't too, too sure. Like, the name beige kind of throws you off, but it does have a rosy part in it. So, one of the things I love about this is the applicator. So, it is this, you know, kind of a thing, but it has this neat shape. So, you can, like, draw the lines yourself. You don't need to have any kind of pencil or liner or anything like that. And it applies like just enough. You don't need too much. It doesn't dry down too, too fast. So you have the time to spread it, make it look nice. And then, I mean, don't bite down or, or whatever real quick right after you put it on because it does take a few minutes to dry. But it's worth the two minutes, not even two minutes, 
Um, cause then it stays on and it's great. It doesn't go anywhere and it looks great. The other thing I got was fairy lights. Um, I have them on my eyeballs right now. I don't know if you can see it or not. I have no clue because if I take my glasses off, I can't see anything. But I do wear this, you know, almost every day now since I got them and I do love it as crazy. I do. I have been wearing this almost every single day since I got it. Because, I mean, I just love glitter, okay? That's just, just a thing. And they're, they're very glittery, very in there. And yes, look at that. Great. Now, this was 20 bucks. Just this color was on sale for $9.99. $9.99, I will pay for glitter. 20 bucks? No. I, I will not do that. Of course, I found other great things at the drugstore. One of them is just this little essence called Make Me Brow. Now, I needed brow gel because I actually have eyebrows. And I'm a little bit proud of that. I don't know. But I mean, I have great eyebrows up here, but like back over there, they're not so much there. And I just needed a eyebrow gel. But then this stuff, I mean, for one, it was $4.99. All right, that, that's a great price. It has this little comby thing. It comes with like, you know, a little comb applicator. And what I've realized is that it has tiny little hairs in it already. So it does add some volume to the back part. Um, so I'm gonna keep buying this one. I have um, the color, I don't know, it's a weird name. Brownie Brows, <laughs> I don't know, color zero two. I do have really, really dark brows cause I actually have dark hair. I don't know. Apparently they're supposed to match. Or you can color them up and do whatever the heck you want. Again, do what you want. Another thing I found there was just this NYX Total Coverage Concealer. And I have it in the color porcelain. So, yeah. I have nails, so I just use my knuckle to get in there. And I just use it like all those other people out there that use their MAC Paint Pot as a base primer on their eyelids. Because... I can't afford MAC, and MAC isn't cruelty free. I know, I have a few things from MAC, but they're not cruelty free yet. Hopefully they'll get there. Not my point. My point is, is that I don't have like 30, 40 bucks. This was on sale, $8.99, yes. No, that was full price, $8.99, sorry. Full price was $8.99, yeah. The last thing I found at the drugstore is actually pretty neat. It's these. They're like two colored, they're a blush set. And this one is a Coral Crush. Yes, I use this one the most. But they're all, they all have their cool thing. This one is Lady Lush. And this one is Baby Blush. So let's open Baby Blush and you'll understand. Because they're totally matte. They are extremely matte blushes. So these two aren't what you would really call like blush colors even though you could depending on your skin tone depending on your sun color you might want to go with these as a blush for me the coral one works but you can also use these as eyeshadows they look great but they're very 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 matte which is kind of a different thing you can you can't even see it pull up really which is great a lot of people are looking for real matte stuff they're made by the brand Quo, Q-U-O, and I do think that that's a Canadian brand. It's a Shoppers Drug Mart exclusive brand, I think. But I got three of them for $6.99. They're on sale. Again, this Coral Crush one, I use a lot. I'm wearing it right now. It, these are the colors that work for me. But they are very, very matte. Again, very, very matte. You can't even see them pull up. Okay, we're down to the last two items. You might be starting to get bored. My lights are starting to get bored because they run off of batteries. The batteries are dying, so let's get to it. Um, they're the things I got at Sephora. Sephora, who oh, is crazy. Some of them were giving out advice that I would like to say they shouldn't have been given, but we're not going to go there, okay? And I was hiding my face because I didn't want people to recognize me in the store and start asking me questions. Because I had just come out from another store where somebody said, Hey, you're the girl. And I went, oh. But again, live with it. I'm putting my face out there. So let's hurry up. I did get um, from Benefit, the pore professional. Because I do need a good pore filling. Because my nose, just my nose. 
when I'm warm, my nose sweats. So, just that. Um, but I did need a good pore filling one. This is really little. It's okay. It's okay to just get the small size. Because, by the way, you can mix primers. Nobody ever said you needed one primer for your entire face. Um, so I just used this a little bit on the parts where I have pores, so my nose and a bit here. And then I used the other NYX one that I talked about earlier for the rest of my face. So I don't need a full one. And it was 16 bucks. The next one is the one I really need to talk about. It is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Spray. I really wanted this. I've been looking at it for a while. It was there. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like when you just like rip into an orange first thing in the morning. It's great. And as a setting spray, it works amazing. I have it on my face now. The only problem is that the sprayer on this thing, this particular one, the sprayer on it, I mean, sometimes I hit my face and sometimes I don't. It, it just depends. It, there's no actual, like, sometimes sprayers, they just have, like, a bad direction, so you kind of have to aim it crookedly. This one, it don't matter. It just kind of does what it wants. And I need to talk about it for a specific reason, because I did an Instagram post about it, but I'm going to say it again. Tarte Cosmetics, this is how you treat your loyal, great customers. So I did buy it at Sephora, and... I saw a thread on one of their Instagram posts where somebody was saying they had the same issue. And they went on to list every single Tarte product they, they own and whatever. Um, to each their own. Tarte still answered back, like, you know, hey, contact your customer service. So I did, you know, put my name down in our comment in there saying I had the same issue. They didn't answer back, which was fine, because I decided, you know, hey, there's the email. Let, let me call. So... The email was just there for everybody to see anyway, it was a comment. So I just decided to send them a quick email just saying like, hey, I bought this. I sent them a picture of my receipt and of the item just saying what the problem was. That I just couldn't get the spur to get to my face, but I like their stuff, you know. Not knowing, not expecting anything, kind of hoping they would send me like a replacement. What did they do? They sent me a gift card so I could buy the full size. So in a few days, because it's already shipped, Listen, Elf Cosmetics, okay? My problem I have with Elf Cosmetics is not their product. Their product is amazing. They have great products, they have great prices. Their customer service leaves a lot to be required, okay? Leave it there. We don't get along professionally because of customer service issues. Their products are great. Obviously, I gave them another chance and I went back to it. I am gonna give them a full dedicated video and I did apologize then, apologize now, again. That's not how Tarte operates, okay? So with Tarte, I've bought things before through their website. I always check it as a guest, though, but my email address is still in there. I get their promotions and whatnot. My point is, I contacted them. It was on the weekend. Wasn't even 24 hours since I sent in their first, you know, hey, could you maybe? That they answered back, and, you know, I am going to be getting in the mail a full size of this which is worth 30 bucks. Because there's no way that I'm paying $30 for a setting spray. Even though I might love it that much, I cannot wing that. It's not on my budget for a setting spray. Again, I have a hard time paying $30 for a full makeup palette. Um, but they were nice enough to replace it with a full size. I'm not complaining. So thank you very much, Tarte Cosmetics. And that's it. That's everything I got from, you know, Drugstore, Sephora, and Winners. Again, and as a $365 value, that's crazy. It's crazy. I saved $200. I saved 200 bucks by shopping the sales. I might not get things, you know, when it first comes out. I'm not going to review anything because it's been reviewed a billion times. But I'm on a budget. I sticked within the budget and I was able to get things I really liked, things that I really wanted. That they weren't things I would have been able to get at full price so I'm very happy that I got them at lower prices um hopefully this brought some ideas to some of you out there how to look for sales if you don't know where the sales are and how to get them just one you can actually just follow my Instagram because I go to winners a lot as practice I am agoraphobic going out on my own sometimes it's just not gonna happen sometimes I have good days and I try but I do have a worker that comes out with me she's great I go to a place where there's a lot of stuff that's very distracting. Winners is a place where it has a lot of stuff. It's always changing. I don't like change. So I'm pushing my limits. 
because I don't want to be a prisoner of my illness. I don't want to be a prisoner of my life. But while I'm there, I take pictures of all the stuff that's on sale. So if you want to know where the sales are, the sales are happening, tune into the Instagram if they're going to be there. So with all that, I'm going to thank every one of you again for coming back. If you want to subscribe, you can. If you don't, don't. If you want to like my page, do. If you don't, don't. Just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. I... So thanks. I got to go. My lights are dying, the batteries are going out, and um, the overhead lighting is just too... I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning along with you. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Come back in a couple days because I'll have the whole Elf Cosmetics things going, which is something that is very affordable. Don't have to wait for the sales for it to be affordable, and it's great. So, with that, thanks.